Hello and welcome everyone to ET Retail Videos. I am Anurag Sharma and in the run up to our event ET Retail Tech Summit that is happening on 25th May in Mumbai, we will be discussing about how Lenskart is using technology across its business. And to help us understand more, today we have with us Mr. Ravnik Khurana, who is co-founder and head of product and technology at Lenskart. Just wanted to understand like how Lenskart is using technology to scale uh, its business in India and across the globe. So uh, when we started more than 10 years back uh, as a pure play online player, almost always when we connected with our consumers, there were three problems because of which they were not able to buy their eyewear. Uh, it either had to do with that they are not able to figure out the right prescription for themselves. How do they get their eyes tested? Which as it turns out is a big problem and we'll cover a lot of that. Uh, second, how do, how do I find out whether this is the right fitting class for me? Is it the right size for me? And third, will the glass look good on me or not? So, uh, over the year, we have worked on a lot of solutions to get over this problem. Like as an example, if you go on the lens cart app today, you can just take a selfie. And with that, we are able to tell you what is the right size of glasses that will fit you. And you can do it from across any phone, Android, iOS, and uh, we are able to do it in a GP. Uh, once you have liked certain glasses, you can also use our augmented reality tech to also get your eyes tested. Once a, uh, once a user has found the right fitting glasses for them, they are also able to use our augmented reality tech to try the glasses on their face then and there, uh, which allows them to make a selection. And once they have made up their mind and if they need a prescription, we have worked a lot on getting trying to solve the home eye test, uh, the eye test problem for the customers, uh, starting with the home eye test, which was our uh, really first attempt. And what it has evolved into now is that when you open the app, much like over or Ola interface, you are able to see a nearby optometrist, and in uh, you know twenty plus cities, you are able to get your eye tested within forty forty five minutes at your home. Uh, other than that, of course, we have now opened more than uh, fourteen hundred stores across the country where you are able to go and get your eyes tested. So I think the problems remains uh, pretty much the same, and our approach has always been to just work backward from those consumer problems and try to solve them. And for doing it at scale, we need technology to do that. So uh, currently, uh, what kind of innovations uh, you are working on uh, to to bring in your business? So I think the latest advent has been in AI, and uh, that is something that we also find very useful because what it does is it takes you know problems which require massive amount of data processing, and it allows you to do that and do that for specific uh, personal user also. Uh, if you look at eyewear, right? It is a category which is a little bit uh, less known because unlike a pair of shoe or a t-shirt, people know what their size is. They also know what kind of, you know, uh, what, what to wear, when and what, right? So all of that is very well understood. But uh, for eyewear, something as basic as size is also not known. So the first thing that we have done is we have combined uh, ability to uh, take high quality pictures, which are there in almost all the phones and then combine it with the four pictures that we have of a lot of users uh, mm. in an anonymized fashion. From that, spit out that what is the glasses that will work well for them in two aspects. One is what will look good on them because, you know, it goes a lot with their facial features. So we are able to get to 300 plus facial points and able to correlate that with the glasses that will work for those people. And also in terms of, you know, the right fitment. So that I think has helped us a lot because it has cut down the time that a person needs to spend to figure out what classes will work for them, both in online and at our stores, and also uh, at home when we visit customers' houses to help them make purchase. So that has been uh, one good part of you know the AI wave which has come. Second part mm -hmm. which has helped us is in the in the recommendation space because once we know that you know you are on the app along with your kids, you might be making purchase for your wife or kids, etc. So we are now able to give different recommendations for different people. So those are two big areas which have opened up a uh, lot for us. I think going forward, it will help us in making eye test more automated also. So uh, keeping customers in the center, uh, what kind of uh, focus do you have currently in your business? So our focus, uh, both long and short term, has always been to take care of and solve the eyesight problem for the country. So just to give you a sense about 50% of our Indians in Indians require eyeglasses, but only 25% of them wear them. And it is a problem which is, you know, a combination of access, affordability, and awareness. 
and uh, Lenskart is trying to work on all of those three axes to get the eyeglasses to people. And mm. as we do that, we are, it is such a big problem that we have to move at a very high space to try to make a little bit difference in that. And mm. as we open more than one eye test center a day, we have to figure out how do we make sure that we are able to use technology to give the right consistent experience to consumers, no matter where we open. So mm -hmm. we are working a lot on figuring out what are the pain points of customers on each step of the eye test and buying journey and building tools to augment the store teams to give that consistent experience to the customer across the journey. So as a brand, uh, you are following an omnichannel approach. Yes. So uh, what kind of uh, technology you are using for e-commerce uh, platforms and what kind of technology you are using for offline channels of your lens card? For a customer, right, uh, I, I think a lot of the brands, a lot of companies end up divide, looking at customers from their own lens and end up dividing people into, you know, offline customer or online customer. Uh, in reality, there is no such, you know, online or offline customer because if you, if you, you, people order food at Swiggy all the time, but at the same time, they go to restaurants and uh, eat in there also. So if you look at it from customer's view, what you will find out is that the journey actually transverses through different channels, depending on the ease and convenience of that channel. So as an example, for a typical lens card, the customer, they get to know about us from their friends or family typically. Then they download our app because that is the most easiest low friction way for them to experience lens card rather than, you know, taking out the car and driving through the traffic and getting to the store. Uh, once on the app, they get to see a lot of our, you know, new innovative products or new drops that we are doing in our eyewear category. And they're able to try them uh, using AR. And after that, if they made their mind, they end up going to the store to get their eyes checkup done. And subsequently, they can either purchase the glasses then and there or go back home and purchase it on their app. So this journey goes through online, offline, back to offline again. So it goes through uh, multiple steps. And I think our success lies in the fact that how easy can we make this journey for the consumer? How intuitive can we make it for the journey, for the consumer to go through this journey? Just to give you a sense, if you are browsing through our catalog in offline, right? Uh, if you are in a hurry, you have to rush to your kid's school and you leave the purchase and go back online. Are you able to pick that up from that point and, you know, complete your purchase? Or mm -hmm. if you got your right test done at the store, are you able to use that to get your glasses made maybe online later if you want to? at night browse through glasses and select ones and get that done so those are the areas which help us uh big time so technology wise we we have a technology team of about 400 500 people and uh, most of our technology is built in-house but i think more than the technologies that we are using what is important for us is the use cases that we are working on and how we are trying to solve uh, different points through this funnel Okay, so what are the things uh, that you're working on to stay ahead of the competition? As you know, a lot of uh, players are coming in, in the space, in D2C space. So how do you see the competition and what steps are you taking to stay ahead? The most important thing is to continue to be aware that consumers' needs and demands are changing rapidly. And thankfully, the augmentation in the hardware devices which is coming out, the networking which is coming out is allowing us to do more and more with uh, more and more for the consumers. Just to give you as an example, if you look at hardware, what used to be on our desktops is now available in our phone. So now we have a, a very good processing power available for us to tap into to solve some of the consumers' problems. Second, in terms of networking with 5G coming in now, we are able to load more and more uh, we are able to load more and more information on the consumer app itself so that there is information provided is high fidelity and they are able to get to the near real uh, near real time feel of the product that they are working with. And mm -hmm. in terms of data processing, AI is also allowing us to do individual level personalization. So with these advancements, uh, what we are trying to do at least is to tap into these new technologies to the max and get closer to users' expectations. Because users' expectation is that they should be not, uh, not spending any time trying to figure out what pair works for them. They should be able to get eye checkup done wherever they are. They don't need to step out or go anywhere. They should be able to get very quick after sales service. Ideally, after sales service should not come into picture. But in case it does, they should be able to get it very quickly and the service should be at their doorsteps. And with the 
technology advancements which are available to us, we are able to work on a lot of these now. So just to share a few examples, earlier the network bandwidth used to be a limiting factor. But now if you go online, you're able to play around with 3D models of glasses, go very zoom into very high level of fidelity. And the, and you get to know a lot about the glasses. You don't need to step out of your house to uh, make a purchase decision anymore. So uh, currently, like uh, you have been using data a lot to give a, a better consumer experience. So uh, what kind of data you are using or, or can you elaborate more about where the data can be used, uh, whether it be it uh, supply chain or distribution or inventory management? How do you use that data? Yeah, so I'll, I, I think there are uh, probably two questions in that and I'll take them separately. Uh, the first one is about the uh, data and how it is useful. And the second one about uh, use of uh, technology and supply chain. So first coming to use of data, I think we are a bit unique because we have access to data that typically is not shared with e-commerce companies, uh, shopping apps which is the which is you know the facial uh, attributes of our consumers so what mm -hmm. we do is uh, to keep things anonymized when a consumer takes a picture uh, we identify the different facial points record that in, in an anonymized form in our databases and then correlate that with the kind of glasses that work with the consumers so the experience that people get typically and have been getting for multiple years in offline stores where when you walk in and you say that uh, okay, what do you think? Which kind of glasses work well for me? Uh, I'm, you know, a little bit broad face or long face. What what will work out well for me? That we have been able to break down into a, an algorithm, which is able to, with a very high accuracy, give that solution to you without leaving your house. So that is one of the examples where data is very powerful because it has taken, uh, it has processed millions of such, you know, glasses being sold, returned over the years, etc and ratings and reviews and is very confidently able to give you the right pair that works for you now coming to the question of uh, using technology and supply chain uh, see essentially what what we do if you look at our product it is a manufacturer product right? because the prescription that you are wearing is different than the prescription that i am wearing and even if we both were to take the same black glasses it will be a different product for both of us so it is essentially a product which is make to order from lenses to frames and we needed to build a system which is able to reliably deliver these glasses at the same speed as you expect a pair of shoe or book which is pre-manufactured so this led us to an exploration path where we have built a lot of technology both on hardware and software side to dispatch glasses in less than 24 hours make to order for every consumer so Without that, I don't think uh, I don't think we we'll, we would have been able to scale because it is very difficult otherwise to sell these many make to order products and dispatch them from one location in Bavari. And our current factory is the biggest in the world, biggest eyewear factory in the world, and by a factor of five easily. And it is able to dispatch all the glasses within twenty four hours. And it is also a factory which is another thing that you have to realize is that it is a medical product. So. A slight deviation in uh, specifications can lead consumer to have a headache, which is something that we cannot afford to do. So that is why we have invested a lot on automation to get the quality right. Like you have been uh, using technology a lot in most of your uh, things. So what kind of uh, way that a technology can be used that, that is meaningful for the consumers as well for the company? A lot of buying journey right it is broken up in uh, into it is it is a lot broken if you try it out right now and the reason for that I, like just to give you as an example if you are an online consumer you rely a lot on social proof of rating reviews comments what are other people thinking of the same glasses how was their experience six months after the purchase but that is one information which is not available to a consumer which is buying offline so i think that Piece can be fixed very very quickly and that helps consumers big time and that helps company also because consumers are able to make more determined buying decisions more confidently and it leads to higher conversion similarly when you go to online you're almost always in most of the applications now are given a personalized experience where it says hi welcome anurag how are you doing and it shows you products which are more relevant to you 
whereas that experience is right now broken when you walk into a store the store doesn't know who you are the merchandise suddenly doesn't become you know as per your liking so i think use of technology to improve buying journey can be done to the nth level where simple things which are very well understood and adopted online if adopted in offline also where you take various parts of the funnel and break it down and address the consumer problems in those parts of the funnel it will lead to a fantastic buying experience for customers leading to higher conversion and revenues for the company so that is our view on that so one thing to add i mean I just wanted to understand about the short term goal for lenscard and the long term goal that you are currently working no i a short and long term goal is uh, same uh, anurag it is to make sure that you know the eyesight problem of the country is uh, is solved and we eventually are able to get rid of the blind capital of the world tag and and doing so we have been very very fixated on this mission for a long time and we will have to continue to do it for long time going forward also because it is not an easy problem to solve but at the same time it is a worthwhile problem to go after Uh, these are the questions from my and uh, thank you so much for sharing a lot of insights on and the technology front from landscape thank you ram thank you thanks anurag